In this video, we're going to talk about PS style. PS style is an automatic variable that was added in PowerShell 7.2 that allows you to control the styling of your PowerShell prompt. So PS style takes advantage of ANSI escape sequences. So an ANSI escape sequence is a sequence of characters that instructs how we should format the text after the escape sequence. So for example, uh, in my terminal here, the first couple characters here are the ANSI escape sequence. The E bracket 44M um, is the escape sequence and test is the string that I'm going to format. So when I hit enter, you can see that the text is actually formatted with a blue background and gray text. Um, in order to like make this easier, there's actually PS style. So if you do PS style, um, dollar sign PS style, you'll see there there's a whole bunch of options inside this PS style uh, object. We have um, lots of built-in um, ANSI escape sequences, and we can actually use those within our strings. So if I wanted to actually take advantage of one of those, what I could do is put that directly inside my string using interpolation. So I have a PS style um, call here, and I'm going to use the foreground. I'm going to set the foreground to magenta. So now that's going to format the uh, string magenta with the magenta foreground. And there you can see that it is now magenta in color. ANSI escape, with using ANSI escape sequences, you can actually put multiple ANSI escape sequences in a single string. So you can see here that I'm using magenta, uh, and then I'm actually resetting the, um, the style back to the original version. So that's actually going to remove any other styling that was applied. Uh, so not magenta will actually output as regular text. So now you can see that magenta comes out in magenta and not magenta comes out as the default text output. Um, and this works for any one of the ANSI escape sequences you'll find inside PS style. So here's another example where I'm using blink where the left one is blinking and I've reset it so the right side is not blinking. In addition to being able to format strings with colors and blinks and that kind of thing, there's also other features of the um, kind of PowerShell terminal experience that you can uh, edit inside um, PS style. So for example, let's call get process select object first five. You'll notice that this top section here is uh, green foreground and that's actually accomplished using ANSI escape sequences and it's also configurable using PS style. So if I were to use PS style dot formatting dot table header and set it to an ANSI escape sequence. You could also grab one of the um, PS style uh, predefined colors if you wanted to use that. I just uh, grabbed a random ANSI escape sequence and I've set the table header value to that. Now when you run get process again, you'll see I have a very ugly green background um, on my table headers. And this affects pretty much um, any object that outputs using format table. So even if I did something like its service, you'll see that it still has that green background. In addition to being able to uh, format tables, you can also format things like warnings. So I'm going to call PS style that formatting that warning, sent an, set another um, ANSI escape sequence there. And then when I call write warning, you'll see that now instead of uh, kind of yellow text on a black background, it's a pink text uh, or gray text on a pink background. So um, not only can you uh, ed you know edit strings, you can also output um, different colors for various features inside PowerShell. In addition to um, the new features of this PS style stuff is the ability to actually turn it all off. So this is kind of a bit of a breaking change. Certain things that consume um, PowerShell 7 stuff, you'll see the ANSI escape uh, signature er, sequences inside of the output for certain things because they're not being stripped out or displayed like they are in Windows Terminal here. To completely turn off the output rendering for PS style, what you can do is you can say PS style output rendering equals plain text. From there, you can see that it's actually uh, messed up my oh my posh um, output and removed all the um, ANSI escape sequences that I would use to format my, um, my particular prompt here. And now if you run a couple commands in here, like write warning, you can see that that is just plain text and get process no longer has the green background. To revert it back to um, kind of where it was before, you can either set it to output rendering ANSI, which will kind of enable it, or output rendering host, which will enable it if the host has it enabled. So I've turned output rendering back on, and now you can see my oh my posh uh, output is there. And if I call get process select object, my header is now all messed up again. 
Another thing that you can figure with um, PS style is how the progress bar shows up. So by default, if I were to run this uh, little command line here, which just gets one through 100, sleeps for 100 milliseconds, writes some progress out, I get a little progress bar. And that's kind of the new experience in PowerShell 7. Um, you can actually modify that style using uh, PS style uh, progress that style. And what I'm actually going to do is do that. So um, similar to kind of the formatting for the text header, I am just updating the progress style here. So uh, I am just going to set that to an ANSI escape sequence. And if we run um, this command line again, you'll see that my uh, progress bar is a different color. And um, I would say it doesn't look nearly as good. The other thing that you can change is if you miss the, um, the previous view of um, the progress bar, because in Windows PowerShell, this actually looked different. Uh, it's a little bit more terse in uh, PowerShell 7. You can actually change this to classic. And now when I run um, my for each object here, I get the more Windows PowerShell experience where I have that really big progress bar that doesn't take up like two lines. It takes up like six. Um, and I actually like the uh, minimal view. So we can actually go back to um, minimal to revert that. And now we're back to the way that um, the PowerShell 7 default works. Um, one more feature that I wanted to show in terms of PS style formatting is the ability to actually uh, style particular file extensions and directories um, that you will return inside your PowerShell console. So if I do ls right now, you'll see that this is kind of the default output aside from my really ugly text header here. Um, but all the files and folders and stuff like that just kind of show up as gray. But what you can do uh, in PowerShell 7.2 at least is enable the um, experimental feature PS ANSI rendering file info. So what that actually does is it looks at uh, what's being returned from um, a DAR ls command or get child item command and um, from there we can see uh, a difference in the, the, the colors that are returned for those types of things. So I need to create a new PowerShell process because as you saw when you enable a, a experimental feature it requires restarting the PowerShell process. So now if I go to my desktop and I do ls here, you're going to see that there's some additional formatting. Now directories show up with a blue background and uh, PowerShell scripts actually show up with um, a, a yellow foreground. So how that's actually managed is using the PS style uh, dot file info um, property. So you can see here when I do PS style that file info, uh, there's a couple different settings that are set. There are uh, the color for the directory, uh, color for a symbolic link, a color for an executable, and then colors for specific uh, extensions. So if I wanted to like change the directory color, all I would have to do is what I did in the previous example and set it to a random um, ANSI escape sequence. And now you can see my directory rather than a blue background is kind of a a brownish yellow um, foreground color. The other thing that we can do is we can update particular file extensions um, to have a particular color. So in this case, I want to update the PS1 file extension. And I'm just going to change it to that. If I say ls now, you can see it's an unreadable string of <laughs> PS1. Uh, and if you want to, you may notice that it, this isn't a bunch of extensions. It's only just a couple. Uh, you can add your own extensions to that list. So if I wanted to add a new extension, I would just call dot add on here. And I want to add something for text files. And now when I do an ls, you'll see that my notes.txt is this ugly green color. Um, if I want to just kind of like totally get rid of this feature, I can then use disable experimental um, feature for the rendering of file infos. Uh, restart my PowerShell process. And now if we actually navigate back to the desktop and run that command again, I'm back to where I was with just kind of plain text for the output of directories and files using um, get child item. So in this video, we went over all the cool ways that you can use PS style to format the text inside your PowerShell terminal.